Hey everyone, in the news this week, it was Black Friday in the US, that's the day after Thanksgiving when most of the big shops and websites offer large discounts to consumers. As such, it was great to see Israel and Hamas also give everybody a few days off so they and their supporters could get some Amazon shopping done with 30% off regular prices, or maybe just snap up an iPhone 15. I'm joking of course, all the Hamas supporters I've seen in the news seem more keen to just smash in a window and steal stuff. Talking about that conflict, I'd say that the big story that seemed to go overlooked this week was when the Israeli spokesperson said that they would continue to fight, quote, overground and underground, implying that they formed a new deadly alliance with the Wombles. In personal news, I've got my Christmas decorations up, up in the attic where they will remain until it's December, of course. And in Ireland, there was a remarkable night of violence, which appears to have been carried out by the Invisible Man. This came as a shock to me, as I assumed that H.G. Wells' character was fictional, but it seems it must have been him, as the media have seen unable to ascribe a name or a race or a photograph or even an artist's sketchbook picture of the perpetrators following knife violence in the park. Maybe people in the Middle East will hold a protest over the Irish violence, but I somehow think not. And finally, Oscar Pistorius is out of prison after serving his time, or at least getting parole after a prison authority said he never put a foot wrong the whole time. Get it? But anyway, he's single these days, so lock up your daughters if it's not in the downstairs room of your house if it's the middle of the night. For those ladies thinking of sending him a Valentine's Day card next year, here's a love poem for you to plagiarise. Roses are red, violets are glorious, never sneak up an Oscar Pistorius. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.